Canada for some time has been sort of trying to expand its medical assistance in dying program or MAID, which is their physician-assisted physician suicide. So it began with um, physician-assisted suicide for those with terminal diagnoses. And then they sort of expanded it to, well, you don't have to have a terminal diagnosis. It just has to be incurable, but you know, you're still capable of living with it. Um, for an extended period, you're not actually going to die from your disorder. We're just going to kill those people too. And then they expanded it even further to include those with mental illness. And so we're kind of on that one at the moment. And even though the government already rolled out some guidelines for use, they, they've put a pause on this program. And I think it's interesting as to why. Because what they've said is that they can't find enough uh, psychiatrists who can do it. Now, the wording here is kind of very depending upon what articles you look at. Either you've got the government saying we can't, we haven't trained enough psychiatrists in it, um, and you've got other sources saying that they simply uh, don't have enough psychiatrists who are willing to do it. Now, it's quite possible that the psychiatrists simply aren't willing to do it, and therefore they're not signing up to the program, and therefore they're not trained. That seems like a very likely uh, chain of events that would have caused the, the sort of mismatch of reporting here. I'm still forever shocked at just how many articles we do have, though, about how cost-saving this is. Like, as if that's an argument. And it's not. Like, that was never in question. Like, I get it. If you kill people, it's cheaper than if you heal them. You know, especially people with long-term illnesses. Yes, I get that it's expensive on your socialized healthcare system. Um, but killing people is not a moral solution. So it's just kind of like this weird argument. Like, that was never... That was never what we were saying. It's not the point, you know. But in any case, so here we are with these psychiatrists who they can't get to be the ones to refer these mentally ill patients to their deaths. And so I kind of find myself wondering, like, what would that look like? Okay, so you've got a patient who's severely depressed and suicidal. And he goes in to see a psychiatrist whose job it is to help people with that very condition. And the psychiatrist is going to respond in this governmental scenario with, you know what, you're right. It's never going to get better. There's nothing that we can do. There's nothing else that we can try. Instead, let's kill you. I mean, it doesn't surprise me that they would have difficulty, I mean, I'm glad, that they'd have difficulty finding people in that profession who are willing to go against all of their training and feasibly against the very reason that they signed up. Because they, they signed up to help people to get out of that mindset, to help them in their despair, not to encourage their despair, and to agree with them when they make these suicidal remarks. I mean, the idea that you would just say yes to a person who is suicidal and then perhaps justify it in some sense of, well, because it's cheaper this way, because we agree with with their with their analysis in the darkness that things aren't going to be, get better and can't get better. It's it's horrendous and so unbelievably inhuman. Um, and I was looking over at the New York Post, uh, who covered this article. I'll just take you there with me. And then if we go down to the bottom of this article, see where we are. Right. Yet, yeah, Dying with Dignity Canada is disheartened and shares the frustration of the continued exclusions, stigmatization, and discrimination based on diagnosis. So, <laughs> I mean, okay, <laughs> taking this, this, this slowly. Um, it's not, I mean, it's not stigmatizing to want these people to have a chance at life and to recognize that their suicidal suicidality is itself indicative of a condition that can be cured, right? And instead, that's what that they're arguing, that people who people are suicidal want to die and therefore should be able to die. And if you refuse to to kill them or to aid them in killing themselves, then you're, you're engaging in some kind of immorality. It's like the logic is so reversed and perverse that it's it's difficult to sort of like get into the mindset of, you know, and but that's that's what they're asking for. But then I also take issue with like their their name. Their, what was it? Dying with dignity. Um, yeah, dying with dignity, Canada. And it's like, 
I mean, maybe I'll take heed for this, but you can't die with dignity by deciding to by deciding to kill yourself. It's not dignified. Like to, I mean, that's what dignity is. It's to doing something worthy of honor and praise, right? And there's nothing praiseworthy about stepping away from your obligations, about denying the fact that you're a creature of God. Um, it, not, none of this is dignified about, in many cases, leaving behind one's family. It's also not dignified on the part of the people who are engaging in it and promoting it, of course. That's an absolute evil. I also think the entire system of this uh, assisted suicide essentially coerces people in vulnerable situations to make this decision so as to not feel burdensome because it guilts them into feeling burdensome like hey look how much money this is costing you know there's this other way out right you can just you can take this other socially acceptable option when those people are in states of vulnerability and instead you're saying that that they should in some sense take this this cheaper faster option that removes a sense of burden like you should never tell a person that um who's in these situations and instead that's what we're doing no it's like i think so when i said that you can't you can't die with dignity what i mean is that you can only live with it like you can live in a way that is dignified like you die how you die <laughs> you know uh, we're taken eventually so no none of us get out of this alive um but you can only live with dignity and you do that by bearing your own crosses and your own burdens and fighting through uh, so this this i think this is a really perverse phrase that's been thrown around a lot like i i get what they mean but it's very contrary to what is actually true um so for now for now we will um i guess be glad that the psychiatrists have been unwilling to fulfill this mandate, which goes against everything that they do as a psychiatrist, because they're actually supposed to be fighting depression. Um, and, um, and keep fighting this in, ev in all of its manifestations, because it's truly evil. And the moralizing that they're engaging in to try and guilt people who are in favor of life, basically, of humanity, is, is atrocious and we should be aware of it and we should speak against it and, and identify it for the, for the real evil that it is.